Hi everyone, it's M again. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my keto meal prep. Now it's been a while since I did keto, so I'm starting not completely all over again, but kind of. So this is going to be week one keto meal prep. Um, it will change. It's not going to change every week. But after a couple of weeks, it will change. My macros will stay the same, but my caloric intake will decrease over time. So if you want to see my week one meal prep, just keep watching. Okay, guys, today is going to be about meal prep. And as you can see here, I have my containers. I don't use microwaves, so I bought these aluminum containers so that I could put them in the oven or the refrigerator or whatever. Put them in the refrigerator, then just pop them in the oven and heat them up, okay? If anybody is wondering, um, I bought a whole box of them, the three compartment aluminum tray with lid. Um, I have to cover up my address here. But I bought them from Websterot store. I'm talking a little funny right now. Sorry. But um, I think with um, shipping, I paid $67 or something like that for 250 of them. We have over here all the food that I am going to be meal prepping this week. I am doing um, drumsticks. I always catch all my meats on sale, or at least I try to. I am doing wild Alaskan salmon. I have a uh, cream cheese. I'm going to do jalapenos, cream cheese stuffed jalapenos, asparagus, broccoli, and spinach. Okay, so I thought that I'd show you guys how I cook all my meats. This meal prep is going to be for six days, so I will have you know, probably three days of chicken and three days of fish, maybe two days of chicken and four days of fish. I really like fish. So the easiest way for me to do it is to put it all on a pan like this, start my oven, it's heating up, and I will cook my fish until it's done, take it off, and then finish cooking the chicken. Okay, so as far as my veggies go, anything that is frozen, which is going to be my spinach this week, and my broccoli, I will get unfrozen. I will not necessarily cook it. My broccoli I will cook slightly, only because if you watch my channel, you know that I just had my um, teeth done, and I have an upper plate and a partial bottom, so I'm not I'm only a month and a week in, so I cannot necessarily eat hard broccoli, so I will have to cook that down some. Um, before, I wasn't cooking it down at all. I was just making sure that it wasn't frozen, frozen, because I want my real weight, not my frozen weight. Frozen weight is going to be different than your regular weight. I will make sure that I weigh everything out on my scale. Just to make sure that all my macros are correct for the week. If you're doing keto, you want to make sure that your macros are correct. You want to make sure that you're logging everything ounce by ounce. As far as my asparagus goes, I will be cooking that as well like half way. And my jalapenos if I can focus here there we go and my jalapenos I will be cooking halfway as well so we have my jalapeno poppers cut in half cleaned out and filled with cream cheese I use approximately a half ounce of cream cheese in each half uh, excluding you know like the bigger ones here they got a little bit more not too much 0.7 uh, about three quarters of an ounce and all the jalapenos are 0.6 to 1.1 ounces each. So I will divide it up once they're cooked so that I get the same amount in each meal. And just a little tidbit for you guys. The ends of your asparagus that you break off if you make your own dog food, which my husband makes our dog food her food so your ends you can save and put in your dog food which is 
what I do. He is actually making some right now. So I'm about to cut those asparagus ends up and stick them in Miss Gracie's food. Okay, guys, as you can see, I am finished with everything. I do break up all my meat because it's a lot easier for me during the daytime to not have to cut anything up just to stick it in the oven, heat it up, and eat it. Um, I have put my salt, my pepper, and all my seasoning on everything. For this chicken, I am using Mrs. Dash Southwest Chipotle. On this chicken, I am using Mrs. Dash Italian Medley. Med med and on my fish, I am just using this uh, Laura Lynn's lemon pepper. And as for my butter, I have an ounce of butter on everything. So this one's got an ounce, this one's got an ounce, so on. And for my butter, I use Amish butter. It's got sea salt in it. It's 84% butter fat. I like that one. We do have Kerrygold, but uh, for as much butter as I use in the beginning of it, I I just rather buy this because it is pasture raised cow. They only use antibiotics if they have to. They don't use any hormones. Um, as far as how much I have in each one, uh, as far as my fish goes, I have three ounces of fish in each thing. Chicken, there's three ounces, and all my veggies are going to be three ounces, excluding the jalapenos, which is one ounce of cream cheese, and then approximately one and a half ounces of jalapeno. I will be putting the macros up for each meal. Let's see, we've got, and I label my stuff this way, so this first one's going to be chicken one. And I will calculate all my macros for that. I have my paper over here where I write down all my stuff. And then at the end, I put it in my fitness pal. And then my fish is my fish. So, I know. I'm still speaking weird because I'm not wearing my teeth. I'm giving my gums a break. And so, we got chicken two, fish one, fish two. And fish three. For those of you that seen the donuts in the background, don't worry, those are not my donuts. Those are my husband's donuts. So if you're starting keto and you have other people in your house that are not going to be eating keto, you will have to contend with this stuff being put in your face all the time. Good thing I really don't care for these. But my husband's a junk food junkie. Yeah. He is getting better though. He doesn't consume as much junk food as he used to, but as you can see, he still does, and you see the bread, he also eats that, yeah. So, I will put each macro up as, you know, up on the screen. So, I'm going to put the macros up for each one. The first one, we got chicken one, which is chicken, stuffed jalapenos, I'm in the light, sorry, and spinach. I will put the macros up for that on screen here. And then we've got chicken two, which is going to consist of the chicken, asparagus, I'm really in the light, it's dark, and spinach, asparagus, spinach, and chicken. And I will put the macros up for that one here. And then we have fish one. Sorry, my table's all dirty from doing everything today. Fish one, we have... Oops, I'm losing butter. Come back, butter. Okay, we have broccoli, stuffed jalapenos, and fish. And I will put the macros up on screen here for fish one. Then we have fish meal number two. Which is consisting of fish, broccoli, and stuffed jalapenos. I will put my macros up for fish two here. And we have fish meal number three. Which is fish, broccoli, and asparagus. Macros here. And last but not least... 
we have fish meal number four, which is fish. I'm losing butter again. Fish, spinach, and stuffed jalapenos. Get back up there. And I will put the macros for fish meal number four. There we go. I've got all six dinners done. And I'm now just going to pop them in the fridge. Hope you guys enjoyed week one's meal prep or that it was informative for you. So until next week, bye guys.